coming on to my vlog here from down here at the Emirates Stadium. You know, I was just thinking today about this whole thing to do with um, Arsene Wenger. Now, Wenger's come out and he's more or less said that he's going to stay for next season. Now, whether that happens or not, we'll have to wait and see at the end of the season. But I can't see this board sacking him. And it looks like he will stay. Now, if Arsene Wenger does decide to stay and is here next season, he needs to try and win back the fans. At the moment, a lot of fans are really against him. I see it week in, week out. There's a lot of animosity around. Even You know what, I've even had people come over to me. Some people say to me, Robbie, you should be showing more of fans being anti-Venga. Other fans saying you should be showing less of it. We're just trying to show and reflect and be truthful here. And the truth is, there are a lot of fans at the moment who are really against Arsene Wenger and what's been going on. And I think Arsene Wenger, if he is going to stay, he needs to make some fundamental changes next season. There's a few things he needs to change if he's going to stay here for next season. I think one of the things that's been missing in recent times here at Arsenal has been honesty. And I'm not saying that Arsene Wenger's not an honest guy, I'm sure he is, but I'm on about honesty to the fans. Far too many times you see these press conferences where Arsene Wenger's trying to sugarcoat things. He's not being entirely honest with what's happened with the displays. And I understand a bit of that. Listen, this is what managers do. But I think there needs to be a bit of honesty to the fans. Arsene Wenger needs to come out at the end of the season and say, you know what, guys? This season, I got it wrong. This has been a bad season. This has been a bad season. Even if we finish in the top four, it's a bad season for Arsenal because we should have won the league this year. And we haven't done it. And we're going to finish miles behind Leicester. It's not even the fact that we haven't won it. It's the fact that we haven't competed. We've gone into, like, the last six weeks of the season and Arsenal have not competed to win the league. And that's not... It's just not good enough. And Arsene Wenger, I think, was pretty arrogant at the start of the season, didn't make any signings. And I think he has to come out and say, you know what, guys, I got that wrong. I got that wrong. I should have signed a world-class striker because, you know, how many games have we had where we've had chance after chance after chance and we haven't scored? And it was his call. And if it had worked out, he would have been genius. It hasn't worked out. It was his call only to sign Petr Cech. And I think he has to take the blame. And he has to admit that. He has to come out and say, you know what, I got it wrong, but I'm going to put it right this summer. And I think if he does that, I think there's some fans out there who will have a lot of respect for that and say, well, at least he's doing it a bit different and telling the truth this time. Because I don't think sometimes these guys grasp the modern day, modern day social media and how it is, you know. People want honesty. You can't sugarcoat things because it's all over the place. And I mean, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's discussing it. They're discussing it on platforms like Arsenal Fan TV. They're discussing it on, you know, blogs and newspapers and everywhere. So a bit of honesty. Guys, I got it wrong. I'm going to put it right in the summer. It, it's been a bad season and I understand the pain of the fans this season, but we're going to put it right. I think Arsene Wenger actually is very lucky when I think about it, with what's going to happen this summer. Now, if you think about it, Leicester are probably going to win the league. So there's going to be a lot of focus on Leicester and the fact that this is an amazing achievement. All the newspapers, everybody going to be going on about that at the end of the season. That will kind of detract a bit away from Arsenal's bad season. Then, straight after that, the Euros are going to start. And that's going to go on for about the next six weeks after that. And everybody then is going to be talking about the Euros. No one's going to be talking much about Arsenal. I mean, there'll probably be about a week or so where fans are, you know, upset and, you know, there's a lot of stuff going around. But basically, when the season finishes, there'll be a lot of talk about Leicester, a lot of talk about the Euros, and in between there, little bits and bobs about Arsenal. But Arsenal and the bad news that is our season is going to slip under the radar. And this kind of creates a massive opportunity for Arsene Wenger. First of all, it gives him a great advantage because it relieves a lot of the pressure off of him because I think if the Euros weren't on, it would be relentless for about three weeks after the season finished. But I think he'll only get about a week of that and then it's all going to disappear. It's all going to 
fade away because it was, it's almost like what the politicians say, you're very bad news. The Euro's going to be there. Everybody's going to be talking about, shall Rooney go? Shall Wilshire go? This player, that player. That's going to take up a lot of people's time. And uh, all the football websites and everybody's going to be focused on the Euros. It's a massive opportunity event for Arsene Wenger to slip under the radar. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why I think he will stay. But when he slips under that radar, what he's got to do is he needs to think about his strategy for next season. And one of those things he needs to do is ne he has to, has to. He cannot afford to not do this. He has to go out there and buy a couple of world-class players that are going to get every Arsenal fan off their seat. That every Arsenal fan is going to be saying, you know what, I can't wait for the season to start to see this or that player playing. If he doesn't do that, and it's just the usual, oh, eerie fearing it around and bringing in a player that, you know, a little sort of second, well, no, I wouldn't say second rate, that's a bit harsh, but a player that's not really on anybody's radar. If it's not a couple of marquee signings, everybody's still going to come back to the new season full of animosity towards Arsene Wenger and towards the board and everybody. This is the biggest ever transfer window for Arsenal Football Club, in my eyes. It's the biggest ever. If they get this wrong, if they don't bring in the type of marquee players that the fans crave, it's going to be horrible here for the opening, say, month of the season, especially if we got off to a poor start. It's massive this summer in the transfer window. If Arsene Wenger gets that right and brings in a couple of signings, it can restore, a ba uh, restore back a bit of faith, restore back a bit of enthusiasm with the fans. When I'm talking about the sort of players as well that he's going to have to think about buying, I'm not talking about, like I said, little players. I think I want to see somebody like a Higuain being considered. If Neymar is available, I want us to be in that conversation. And I know people are going to look at this and laugh and say, don't be stupid, Robbie. But this is what I'm saying. This is the sort of thing that needs to happen to start restoring the faith into the fans. Why are we not in a conversation if, say, Neymar was available? We could afford to pay him £200,000 a week. Why not? We haven't spent no money for God knows how long anyway. We can afford to pay him now. We've got money. Look at the size of this place. Look at this. Look. Was there no money around here? We really got to make a statement. We really got to make a statement. Arsene Wenger, you've got to make a statement to win back these fans. Look, they're used to players like this guy, Tony Adams. You've got to make a statement. I think finally, there has to be an admission that there's been some poor players at Arsenal this season. Some of them might have to be shipped out. And I'm talking about guys like Theo Walcott, who's been one of my favourite players. He may have to go. I'm talking about Flamini, Arteta, these guys. They're going to have to go. And we're going to have to, as Reddy said, you know, bring in the right players. But also, I think we need to address our defending. Our defending for the past few seasons has been awful. Now, I don't know if this is a case of bringing in somebody who has expertise. With the ball, we're brilliant. Without the ball, we're awful. Simple as that. That has to be addressed this summer. The medical problems have to be addressed and you need to make it known that you're addressing these things and you need to show fans what you're doing to address the defending and also to address the terrible medical record. And we need to be more ruthless with the players. If they're not gonna perform, you're gonna be gone. They need to know that. I think if we do these sort of things, if you do these Arsene Wenger, there's a possibility, because at the moment it's really, really rough out there with the fans. But you've got an opportunity to try and win them back. Do not miss out on this opportunity. This is the last one, I think. Anyway, time to go home. I love this place. I love this club. I just want what's best for this club.
what is best? Is it Arsene Wenger staying? Is it Arsene Wenger going? I don't know. If he stays, you've got to make these changes. It's going to be rough next season. Chelsea, they're going to be better next year. They've got Conte coming in. He's a, a top manager. They're not going to have to worry about any sort of European football. They can just go full pelt at the league. Manchester City are going to have Pep Guardiola. You know what that's going to mean. Much better team. Man United will probably have Mourinho. Tottenham will improve. Leicester will be the champions. They'll probably improve and bring in a couple of players. Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp. They're going to get better. It's possibly going to be the hardest league ever to win. I want Arsene Wenger. I want the board, everybody connected with behind the scenes there to think about those things. And we want to be challenging next season. Look at this club. Look at the sides of this place. Look at this great club. Let's do the right thing. Hi, welcome on to my brand new channel called Man Like Robbie. You guys may know me from Arsenal Fan TV, but on this channel, we're going to be talking all things football. And it's going to be real, unlike any other channel on YouTube. So subscribe right now to Man Like Robbie.